Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at Fantastic Four Omnibus Volume 4. So let's get the plastic off and we'll take a closer look. So a couple of weeks ago I did Fantastic Four Omnibus Volume 3 and I did say at the time that Volume 4 would be following shortly and indeed here it is. So as per usual, hardcover, dust jacket, choice of two covers however in this case this particular volume is slightly cheaper than the previous ones we are looking at a price of about 84 pound or a hundred dollars or 125 Canadian as usual I got mine from Forbidden Planet so instead of being about 84 it was about 58 pound if you want to go and check it out for yourself link in the description below so if we take a look at the cover first of all we can see we've got this gorgeous piece of artwork there which is reproducing uh, issue 100 which apparently features villains 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 and then if we look at the spine we can see we've got the current smaller lettering which is still annoying we've got the little picture at the bottom and the list of contributors has increased from just Lee and Kirby and again, if we look at the back, we can see we have got reproductions of the covers of all of the issues within this particular volume. So if we take the dust jacket off and have a look underneath, we can see again, as previously, we have got Fantastic Four in this gorgeous blue Fantastic Four omnibus and the spine same thing small lettering contributors little piece of artwork there and on the back we have the fantastic four four logo again as per always listen to that creak <laughs> with new omnibuses we want to stretch the spine out to hopefully prevent loose pages and damage and warp into the spine later on and while I carry on with this, let's have a look inside. Lee, Kirby, Romita and Bushima, a fantastic creative four. It was the fall of 1970 and Marvel's greatest comic magazine was changing. All of Marvel was changing. The title that had anchored the Marvel Age of Comics was about to undergo a profound evolution when industry legend and Fantastic Four co-creator Jack Kirby took leave of Marvel for new opportunities with DC. It was the biggest creative challenge Marvel had faced since Steve Ditko left The Amazing Spider-Man four years prior, and Stan Lee solved it in the same way, bringing top art talent John Romita on board to draw the new adventures of Marvel's first family. But Romita would serve only a short term as interim artist because an even bigger personality would soon take the reins. Big John Bushiba would come to define Fantastic Four in the 1970s just as Kirby had done in the 1960s. This fourth omnibus collection of Fantastic Four tales captures this highly creative period of transition for one of comics history's most important titles. Jack Kirby's last year on Fantastic Four delivered the goods, with the FF tackling a Cree plot to stop the Apollo 11 moon landing. A mighty dust-up with the Frightful Four and the monster from the Lost Lagoon. King Kirby also introduced his last great creation to the FF lexicon of characters, the supernatural nanny to Franklin Richards, Agatha Harkness plus a 100th issue extravaganza that pits the FF against an endless cast of iconic villains. John Romita's term on the title was brief but memorable, with the conclusion of a supervillain team-up of epic proportions as the Submariner and Magneto join forces to take on the surface world. And who is the monster in the streets? The answer may cost the life of the invisible girl. 
when big John Bushima comes on board, the hits just keep coming. With the FF reckoning with Janus, a war with Anilus in the negative zone, and the power of the Overmind. A threat so immense that only a team-up with Doctor Doom can stave off Armageddon. Plus, guest appearances by Crystal and the Inhumans, the Black Panther and the Silver Surfer, who joins the FF to stop Galactus and his new herald, Gabriel. And the proceedings wouldn't be complete without a Thing vs Hulk battle. And this volume collects Fantastic Four issues 94 to 125 and Fantastic Four The Lost Adventure. So there we go. That is Fantastic Four Omnibus Volume 4. Now I don't know if we're going to get a Volume 5 because this goes up to issue 125 and at that point not only had Jack Kirby left as the artist but if I'm remembering correctly that is when Stan Lee stopped as the writer of Fantastic Four apart from a couple of odd issues later on. So this goes up to the point where we no longer have Jack Kirby or Stan Lee working on the title. However we won't know if we're going to get a volume 5 until Marvel actually announce here's a volume 5. In the meantime however that is it for this video. Until next time remember hit the thumbs up below and I will see you in the next one.